Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This LED TV don't have any display. So how we can determine where is the problem? Where is the fault? To troubleshoot it, first of all, check AC input voltage at input terminal. It is 228 volt. Then we have to check DC voltage at this main capacitor. Then we have to, to check DC voltage at this capacitor. It is 326 volt. It's okay. And then we can check the output of this SMPS transformer. Just only because these capacitors are mounted and they are soldering it behind, we can check the voltage on these diodes. It is 9.44 volt. 9.4 volts. Then we can check the voltage on the backlight. It is 16 volts. Now we have to see. I will show the condition of these capacitors. If we look, this capacitor it is flat. It is flat. This capacitor it has swelling. Its surface is raised up. It is plain and it is slightly, we can compare them easily. These four capacitors. This top surface is flat, flat, and it is raised up. This one is also raised up, and this capacitor is also raised up. So these one. Two and three capacitors are leak so we have to replace these capacitors because these are internally leak these are heat up this capacitor the outer surface is good so we have to replace these capacitors and the board number TP VST 5090 PB 706 Speakers, backlight, carefully raise up this black cover and pull the LVDS. So in this combo board we have this power supply section, this is primary side from this portion and here we have optocoupler for voltage feedback then we have here this transformer in the output of transformer we have one two three outputs which are connected to these capacitors buck regulator here a processor that is connected with all these inputs audio video all inputs are connected to this processor audio video processor this is complete tv circuit and finally we have LVDS signal for the panel here we have audio out USB port Capacitance, short the both leads of the capacitor to discharge it. So it is not measuring anything.
so this capacitor is open so this capacitor is open it is 330 microfarad 35 volts but on the capacitor meter it does not display anything so this capacitor is bad 330 microfarad now we will remove the second one discharge it properly so it is giving 115 microfarad it is also 330 microfarad it is 330 microfarad but so it is also bad then we have to remove this capacitor it have also swelling so this capacitor is also nothing it is open so it is 470 microfarad it is 470 microfarad 16 volt but it is open now I have this capacitor it is 470 microfarad it is 470 microfarad 35 volt and this capacitor was 70 16 volt now we have to check this capacitor which we are going to install it discharge it properly then on multimeter this capacitor is giving 473 microfarad so it's good we have to install it but the original capacitor that is open so this capacitor is bad so we have to replace it so I damaged its leads so that it will not mix up now I will install capacitor when you want to install capacitor always take care for clarity negative to negative positive to positive now I have these two capacitors it is 470 microfarad discharge it in capacitor mod it is 498 484 that's good discharge it it's also 476 that's good our these capacitors were not reading anything it is open and the second capacitor is also open so we have to bend their leads so that this should not mix up now I will install these capacitors it is 470 microfarad 35 volt Let's check it. We have to connect this.
now it's good now it is 19 volt before this it was just only 9 volt it is 19 volt it's good now it is 18 volt Now we will check, we have to connect the ground pins, Wow, that's neat. Now it is powered on and the back light is turned on. So it is now turned on. So this was the problem in this board that the capacitors were damaged. And now we can check. It is 39 volt for backlight so our power supply section is working 18 volt second diode 18 volt the third diode 21 volt backlight section so the backlight light output that is 39 volt that's awesome so friends i hope so this video is informative for you if it is informative give a thumb up if you have any question let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh